Hello everyone, my name is Danny. This review is for the movie called Gemini Man. This is a 2019 film. It is rated PG-13. It runs two hours. It stars Will Smith, Linda Emond, and Mary Elizabeth Watson, I think is her name. And uh, it just saw it in theater a couple days ago. <clears throat> My place hasn't been... All that great has been getting worked on, and uh, I've been really busy trying to get a new job set up. So this is my kind of free Monday, so I uh, kind of did some paperwork stuff for the new job, and I'm like, well, you know what? i got to get these reviews knocked out, so I thought I might as well do one here uh, while I'm thinking about it. And I'm a little behind. I'm sorry about that, but thank you, everybody, for watching my reviews lately. I don't thank people enough. I'm really getting close to my, I think it's my 500th movie review. So, uh, the only reason why I keep doing this is because people keep watching. I keep getting comments on old videos and I see that, you know, almost, uh, 500 people have watched one and almost 50 have watched another. And it's just amazing to see, you know, I mean, when I make these videos, I don't think about that. I just think about offering my opinion. If anybody you know, for animated movies, for parents, and for other people if you just happen to be interested. So, thank you so much to my loyal followers, my subscribers, anybody who watches a video of mine. Um, <clears throat> this was a really big movie, uh, Gemini Man with Will Smith, and I know he has a couple more coming out in the next year or so, but I was really excited to see Gemini Man. I really was. And so, when I went to go see it in theater, uh, I did see it in IMAX, and it was good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Still kind of getting over my cold, too. So, um, I didn't know what quite to expect. I was hoping for sci-fi. And I guess it was not that. Which, uh, sorry, spoiler, but it's, such some, it's something people need to know going in. You know, I mean, I wish I would have known going in that it wasn't really a sci-fi movie. And um, the other thing is that I thought maybe... They might have, like, typecasted somebody like Will's son, Jaden, or some look-alike to play the younger character. But I guess it was Will Smith for both. So I was a real surprise when I found that out. Um, yeah, I'm hearing kind of contrasting opinions about this. Um, you know, there's the side that says there's no storyline and that it's boring and that, you know, this movie flopped. And then there's sides that say, well, the action was really good, and the storyline was really intriguing, and it's kind of like one of my cop shows that I watch, and stuff like that. And I'm like, okay, I understand that. So, it's hard to review a movie when you kind of have two sides to take, and you have to choose one, you know? So, I would say that I'm on the side saying that the first half was pretty boring. I will say that. I also understand the other side saying that this has an interesting storyline. It really does. It has some intriguing characters. It has some interesting situations. And the action is pretty darn good. You know, I mean, like, some people don't go to movies very often, unlike myself. And when they go to see this or Mission Impossible or whatever kind of action movies, you know, that are PG-13... They really like movies like this, and they mo really like, you know, the the kind of the pace and the storyline and the setup and all that stuff, because they need something to get into, you know? So, I think those of us kind of demanding more are justified in our opinion, but I think those of us <clears throat> thinking that it was too slow or too boring, uh, I think that we're a little bit overreacting on it. So, I do understand uh, the movie itself. I think it was well done. I think it was uh, interesting for what it was. I, you know, I was expecting more, but I was satisfied with what it was. You know, I thought the action was actually pretty darn good, you know. The next one I'm looking forward to is Terminator, and I think Gemini Man was good enough for action. You know, I don't think I'm going to be impressed by anything else. But I do look forward to these action movies when they come out. So they need something. But I just I, I personally thought it could have used more action. You know, I, I thought that was 
taking too long on the talking parts. That maybe they could have had something else happen, you know? I think there's a lot more to this movie as far as, like, you know, what it does it make sense, what it did. Um, I don't want to give, I don't want to give the big surprise away, but does the big surprise make sense? I think is the big question here. And, uh, you know, if they were going to do the big surprise, why didn't they do it earlier? Why didn't they do it more? Uh, why weren't there more of the big surprise, you know? Um, stuff like that, you know. Um, I think the ending was fine. I think there's a couple spots in here where Will just gets to be Will and say a Will kind of thing. And I think that kind of breaks up the movie a little bit, but not in a good way. And... So, other than that, I think it's a fine movie, and, you know, it's, it's tough, because I, I think that some people aren't going to agree with me, but I'm going to give this movie a B, maybe a B minus, we'll go with B minus, because I know it's slow, I know it's disappointing, and it's tough to watch movies that you know are like that, so, otherwise, I suggest watching it, um, if you ever want to put it on your list for making sure that you watch a Will Smith movie. I think that'll be fine, but I just don't think too many people are going to be too in love with this. I think even the people that are in love with it realize it was a little slow. So, uh, be minus for a Gemini man. Thanks a lot, guys. My name is Danny. If you like this or any of my other videos, try and give some of them a watch. Like and subscribe to my channel if you would. Enjoy movies. Thanks.